Hello folks, Jason Cressman here, JC's Bees, Central Ohio Beekeeper. You ever been stung by a bee before? If you have, you've probably noticed that within seconds, there is other bees there to help defend the bee that just stung you. How the heck's that work? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's off pheromones. You see, when that first initial bee stings you, it also releases a pheromone, an attack pheromone. And in the beekeeping world, or with honeybees, a lot of people believe that pheromone smells a lot like bananas. So today we're going to test out this banana theory and see if it's true or false. Will but honeybees sting me if I eat this? Or will they sting me if I rub it on my arm? We're going to find out today. And those are a couple of the tests we're going to do. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat some of this banana. I'm going to put my veil on. And I'm going to go around the beehives and just sit in front of them just inches from the uh, hive and see if bees start diving at my face. Yes, I am going to have my veil on, but that's just because I don't get like getting stung on the face. So to prevent the stings to the face, um, we'll simply have to just watch and see if bees start bouncing off my veil. From that point, I'm going to take a small piece of the banana and rub on my arm. We're then going to uh, take that part of my arm and put up against the entrance of a hive and see if the bees start to react. And the third and final test is we're going to take a piece of this banana and lay it on top of the frames inside of a hive and see how the bees react. So let's go get started. I know you're anxious to see me get stung. Okay. No veil. No guts, no glory, right? Well, I'm telling you, I've got a frame feeder here in front of me I just removed from a nuke. If you're not a beekeeper, basically it's just a feeder that we feed bees with inside of the colony. It's only a couple of feet from me. There's a couple hundred bees working that feeder right this moment. I'm going to turn the camera here so you can see. I don't really feel threatened. Not at all. They're not even paying any attention to me. I'm going to have to say, this banana don't mean anything to the bees. Could be wrong. I know it's hard to hold the camera with one hand and hold the banana and peel it with the other. I do know that. I kind of feel bad you guys are sitting there watching me eat a banana. Hope you're eating something too. At least drinking coffee and keeping cool. Look, it's like 93 degrees. Crazy weather. I'm going to have to say, folks, they're not doing anything. I'm not so sure that eating the banana is going to do anything. I'm going to put my veil on and go put my face close to an entrance and see how they respond just by my breath. Let's go try that. Okay, folks. I feel like this is stupid. <laughs> it's like jumping in with sharks. We'll see. Me blowing my blowing out air, I should have banana on my breath, and there's nothing. There's they just move away. So, there again, I don't believe that bananas mimic anything so far. Let's go a step further and uh, let me open this banana up, which is now starting to get hot. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and balance the camera here for a second. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take part of this banana, just rub it on my arm. I know, why would you rub the banana on your arm? But it's an experiment. Now let's see how the bees react.
absolutely nothing. They, they seem not to care. If anything, I'm blocking the entrance and they're more mm -hmm. upset about that, it seems like. The only other thing I know to do is to actually open one of these boxes and lay a chunk of banana on top of my fingers and see how they respond. So let's try that real quick before we call this Beth the Hoax or Busted. Okay, I'm not going to use any smoke to open this because I don't want to I don't want to cover up the pheromones that I'm trying to spread around. Ow, ow, ow! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, they're not doing anything. I just lay it there. Just lay all that there. And I'll eat the last little bit. So, so far, nothing. I'm not really impressed. Sure, they're a little jumpy, but I didn't use smoke. I'd say that's normal. Now we'll see what happens once I go to remove this. I'm going to slowly lift it away. Set it over here on this colony. It actually looks like they're eating it. So what do you think, folks? Myself, I was kind of impressed. You know, all this time, 11 years I've been keeping bees, and that's something I was always pretty strong in believing, that bananas just weren't a safe thing to eat before you went out and worked the bees, or anything banana-scented for that matter. I mean, if you've got young kids, they've got banana-scented perfumes and different things. Um, maybe that's something we need to experiment with, since the banana itself did nothing. Um, we seen there at the end the bees were actually eating the banana so it turned from being something that could harm you into something that they were enjoying so it was a little bit different outcome than i was expecting but hey we learned something today so if you like this video throw me a big thumbs up that'll help boost it in the youtube search ranks and make it easier for everybody else to find um, if you haven't subscribed please do so and make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, JC's Bees. One last thing, check out my new shirt. This shirt is now available below all of my videos. If you just scroll down below the video, you're gonna see my merch, my merchandise, uh, different apparel and things of that such listed below my videos. You can purchase it from there, or you can go into my video description and go to my apparel store. So just wanted to throw that out there, folks, and we're going to be having a, a hat released here real soon. So be watching for that, too. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next week.